Welcome to Dean's Kitchen, where today we are showing you a really tasty recipe for Dolly Mixture Fudge Squares. Dolly Mixtures, there's a wee blast from the past, a favourite sweetie of mine when I was a wee girl. Uh, you might not have seen them for a long time, but they're still available in the shops. You can buy them in little bags and we're going to be making a really lovely little sweet treat using Dolly Mixtures. So really colourful, lots of sweetness, lots of calories, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, and I hope you really enjoy watching me demonstrate this recipe and most, more importantly that you try it yourself at home. So on my hob here I've got a pan already sitting with some golden syrup in the bottom and that's just warming nicely and I'm going to add in some more ingredients to this. So what we've got first of all, we've got some caster sugar so we'll add that in to the, to the golden syrup. I told you it was sweet, didn't I? And next up we've got some butter so we'll just pop this butter in too. We also have some condensed milk, that favourite ingredient for all fudgy sweet treats that you make in your own kitchen. So that's the condensed milk in the pan too. So as you can see, everything in. We'll turn up the heat now. And what we want to do is melt all this. We don't want it to boil until everything's melted and mixed, otherwise you get quite a grainy texture. You need to melt the sugar in particular before you bring it to the boil. So just keep turning it over a medium heat until everything's melted together. Our ingredients are nicely melted and have now come to the boil. So we've got a nice smooth caramel in the pan that's just going to darken slightly as we cook it. Keep on stirring because otherwise it'll stick to the bottom of the pan and you get a slightly burnt taste. So you're better just to stick with it, keep, keep going, keep stirring and give it about six minutes and then we're ready for the next stage. My caramel has now been cooking for about six minutes, so it's been boiling and me stirring constantly. So we've got a beautiful caramel that's lovely and golden in colour, as you can see, and it's ready for the next stage. So what we do now, while it's still nice and hot, so be careful because the pan is very, very hot, is we're going to tip in some shortbread crumbs. And once you've got the shortbread mixed well through and it's all evenly distributed, what we'll do next is tip this into our prepared tray. As you can see, it's nice and fluid. So just using your scraper, just get it all out. And then just help it into the corners of the tray, like so. Just level it out. You can give it a little bit of a shake, just to make sure it's filled into the corners and all the air bubbles are, are out of it. There we go. And we're ready for our dolly mixtures. Now for the fun part, we're going to add the dolly mixtures into our slightly cooled tray of caramel shortbread. So here you can see them. Blast from the past I think and I'm tempted to have a wee nibble on these but I won't. So what I'm going to do is just take them and sprinkle them on top of the shortbread. Just scatter them as evenly as you can over the top like this. So just fill up the spaces as best you can and then what we'll do because it's still a bit hot is we'll take a spatula and press these down into the mix like this. We're going to add in some white chocolate just to finish off. But what we need to do now is just let that cool further, another five minutes or so to cool and we'll add the chocolate. In my bowl here I've got some white chocolate that I've just quickly melted in the microwave. Uh, you could use milk chocolate if you want but we've got white chocolate, it looks, it looks really good against the dolly mixture so what you want to do now is just Pour this on to the top, like this, using your little spatula, just spread it right over. What we're going to do now is just finish it with some coloured sprinkles. That works really well with the dolly mixture, so we've got very colourful, sweet treat. Our Dolly Mixture Fudge Squares have been in the fridge now for about three to four hours, so completely cold and set and ready to, to chop up. So I've taken it out of the tray. I've still got the baking parchment on, so just peel that back and just lift it to make sure it's separated from the paper. And then what to do is get a nice little sharp knife and just score it like so. You want, as I mentioned already, quite small squares because it is very, very sweet. So we'll score it like this and then cut through it. And as you'll see, the dolly mixtures show through when you cut it. 
There we are. So perfect, as I mentioned, for kids. They'll love this one, but also a really nice sweet treat to have with a cup of coffee, maybe an after dinner treat, something a wee bit different. Uh, we love it, we think it's great um, because it's got shortbread in it and dolly mixtures. So what's not to like there? So if you try it at home, let us know what you think of it. Definitely one to recommend. Share your pictures as ever if you can on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, thank you for watching.